Oh my god, look at up downside.net. Oh my god, I was supposed to miss the inner scene my life. What's going on, buddy? Mom's cousin. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Last episode, we made it to giant white jellyfish. Okay, so this is something I'm actually terrified of. We stand on it, and that's it. Yeah, I'm just kidding. We actually have to avoid all these things. Stay on board of the white jellyfish. Quick, get back on! Which, I mean, he moves so slow. And it's like, how can I possibly find this heart? And to be honest, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't understand it. Stay on board of the giant white jellyfish. So, yeah, it's kind of just an endurance run. I'll stay on top of him while he goes underneath all these platforms. And he tries to kind of get me off. But, uh, it's... Oh, God. It's freaking depth perception that gets me in this. Um, it might be easier for me now since I just did it like a couple weeks ago. But see, so the first time I did this, it took around an hour and a half for me to get this. It's weird. I don't understand. I haven't hit any difficult parts yet. I kind of remember the route pretty well. Knowing the route actually helps a lot. Because uh, getting the camera, like I'm trying to move the camera right now. It's not really cooperating. The camera's all... See, that's what I mean. It's like I thought I cleared that, and but I did not. So what's going to happen here is it's going to wait 10 seconds. And we're going to go freaking just annoy this snail. Thankfully, it's nice enough for, for it to teleport you right back over here. Like, this is not where I was standing, you know, I was attacking that snail. But yeah. So once time runs out, it just does that. And here we go again. I don't know why. Just depth perception screws me over. And it's hard for me to tell exactly where I'm going to land. Crouch jumping helps a lot. But even, like, landing on this, like, I don't know where the heck I'm going to land most of the time. I think that's partially the camera not angled properly, so I can't really see where I'm going to land. But also might just because I'm just stupid. <laughs> and I have horrible death perception. I don't know why. Both in games and in real life, I just have very bad death perception. Is it underneath the platform? It does. It do. Eh, see, once again there is that. I wasn't sure if I was going to land on him or not. Depending on how long this takes, I might need to start cutting. I hope I don't. Okay. We got this. We just got to prepare ourselves. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, this is this is actually pretty long. When I did finally beat it, I was like, oh, I didn't realize I was that close to the end. But uh, it's probably around a minute or two that I have to sail on him. Maybe more, maybe less, I don't really know. Probably more, probably like three minutes or something like that. But yeah, he takes any, he takes the same route every time. You just gotta stay on him until the very end. I might do like a full like two laps or something. No, maybe not. Maybe it does like a lap and a half. Alright, where are you going, Mr. Jellyfish? You right here? Oh, no. Okay, totally thought he was going underneath the cliff there. Camera, I'll cooperate, please. I'm ready to high jump at any point. Is it this one? Is this the lucky winner? It is, isn't it? It is! Aha! Oh god, okay. Oh! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Oh! Okay, did not think I was gonna land. My hands are really sweaty right now. Which is really dumb because, like, this is only our second try, but still. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I mean, it's stupid how tense this is. It's going so slow, and this is definitely not the thing that should be hard. Oh, I think it goes under here. Nope. Oh, man, this trips me up, too. Okay, it's this one. It's this one. It doesn't help that there's no shadow on this giant jellyfish. There's a land, but there's no shadow on this. Anything that really moves, I don't think they put a shadow on in this game. I guess graphic limitation reasons. Or just limitations in general. Maybe not graphics in particular. Actually, I think we're getting close to the end here. Oh man, I'm actually very nervous right now. My hands are so sweaty. Which is so dumb. This is the dumbest thing to be scared of. Like, kelp slide and battle for bikini bottom. Oh, okay. That's one thing. Oh man, this is the part that always messes me up because I don't know which way he goes. I never remember. Is that it? Did I do it? <gasps> On my second try? Oh my god. That's amazing. Holy crap, I can't believe I did that. Woo! That took five minutes to do. <laughs> ah, good God. Versus like my hour and a half. Like I'm not even exaggerating either. Like it seriously took me an hour and a half to figure this out. I'm not figure it out. But get it. I, I could not see a top of him. I don't know why. Every time I like try to jump over a cliff. Oh dang it. Every time I try to jump over a cliff it would screw me over somehow. That doesn't leave me high enough. Just stand atop. <laughs> it's weird, after like going on that white jellyfish, I'm like, yeah, this jellyfish looks really oddly colorful. Let's wait to the corral. The coral. The coral! 
We already got our leaf blower, so there's no need to go visit Rusty. That was his name, right? A rusty spoon. So with that, we're actually getting pretty close to finishing Jellyfish Fields. Whoa! Holy crap, that looked like lava for a second. I was very confused. I think we're... Yeah, we don't really have much left to explore here. Let's take a look at our totals. Oh! Oh, wow! We got 100% of the jellyfish. And 97% of the, the tokens. The tokens. The tiki tokens. I'm not going to be able to do a good cliffhanger for this episode, am I? Because I'm probably going to be... Well, I guess I could cut the episode a little short. Everyone loves short episodes, right? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? I believe this leads back to the beginning of the level, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah, it does. Wow, I didn't realize I was this close to the beginning of the level. Huh. I have to remember how to get up on that cliff, though, because I do not remember. I do not remember. Hello, it's Kermit the Frog here. Um. How, hmm. How do I get up there? Has something to do with this rock, perhaps? This rock man! Well, this is a very peculiarly placed rock. Oh, it is this way. Okay. See, I almost feel like that's cheaty, isn't it? I don't know. I guess that rock does look peculiarly placed, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oddly enough. Well, you know what? Let's. Well. No, nah, we should explore this now, because we're going to get a letter and that's going to teleport me. So, yeah, there's like a little area here you can jump to. And there's this. Where this, you know, this is where. Oh god, where a tree pops out. So it's like, oh, there must be something up here, right? They even put like one of those weird trees there. But no, there's not. Just another dead end. Alrighty, game, whatever you say. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, right there. Okay, I was trying to see where I need to jump to for blindly jumping. Ooh, ah, uh, blindly jumping. Ooh, ah. Uh. I guess I could jump to it from probably one of those platforms as well with the crazy trees. The crazy trees. This is the crazy trees. Do, 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 do. You remember Crazy Frog? I don't know. 100% awesome. Okay. This is definitely a level I was very worried about 100%ing. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, what? Who? Who is a flying Dutchman going to capture after this? It's also interesting how we're inside my own head for all these. Sleeping clam. What else do we have here? Nothing much, really. That was a jellyfish net. The treasure chest. That's not really... I guess there was a treasure chest section here. We had to use the pearls. Now, I'm not even thinking of this. I'm just kind of blindly doing this, man. It's a shame how easy these are. I mean, this is a game for little baby children, but you'd think they'd make it a bit more mixed up, right? Something you can immediately do. Yay! Yeah, should I make 4x4 four four puzzles and have 3x3? Three three? <laughs> we did it! That's my dubstep noises. Do you guys like? Do you like it? I sir sure hope so. I worked very hard on it. All right, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought it put me right where I got the last square. So it does put you in the exact same spot every time. It's also very interesting that it started me here because this is nowhere near the treasure chest. I mean, it kind of is, but you'd think they had put you in the area where it's gonna be. Also, Patrick's not here anymore. Where did he go? I don't know. We. <laughs> That's pretty cool. How he folks down all on the stick. Um, I vaguely remember where this is, but I'm not super sure. Can we make this jump? Oh, well, it could have, like, jumped better. Wow, I did not even press the A button to float there, but okay, whatever you say, game. I will happily take a floaty float. Oh, I can't get up there. Cool. Jellyfish? No jellyfish. No jellyfish. Oh, well, looks like I'll be able to show you guys what riding the jellyfish from this side looks like. If I get on top of him, I can. I don't remember exactly where it is. Oh no, oh, damn it. I don't think I've ever actually been able to make that jump before. I think I always have to like get him over here. Oh, please. Okay. Woo. I'm always scared landing near him because I don't want him to take off without me. So long. Okay, take a look at the rest of his route. Looks like you can make a few jumps there. But they're always, I always miss them for some reason. It just, it's very sad. Let's go up the river. I find that easier. 
So I guess we didn't have to come back to this area. I think like two or three episodes ago, I was like, hmm, well, if we were missing some shiny objects, no, I'm just, or some of the doubloons or anything, I could come back here because there was a little, one little tiny area I didn't get to explore. Whoa, whoa, okay, you almost knocked me in. What a silly guy, don't touch him. His tentacles hurts. Oh, wow, I can make that jump. I didn't know I could make that jump. I can make this jump too if I do it. Maybe not. Huh, I did not know we could make this jump so easily. What happens if I go to the changing room with one of these on? Oh god, don't touch me. You cannot change costumes while treasure hunting. <laughs> I'm treasure hunting my underpants. No, stupid jellyfish. I don't understand why they run away when they fly away without me. Hey, there's another boat in the background. Did you guys see that? Look at that. You have to kind of have the camera in the right way. So many boats. So many boots. Don't you dare touch me. Okay. Oh, nice. You didn't run away from me. She's like, he didn't run away that time. Uh oh. Okay, good. Alright. Treasure, where are you? This way? Wait, is this not where I remember it being? What? No, I see it. Why is it pointing me that way for? The treasure's over here. Which is weird, because you know what? They missed a good opportunity here. They totally should have put it in the hull of this ship. <clears throat> like, I, I immediately knew that the treasure was going to be in this area, except I thought for sure it was going to be on the ship. I mean, that makes the most sense, right? <clears throat> huh, yeah, now it's pointing the right way. Weird. Don't understand how that works, but okay, let's grab the chest that's kind of floating if you guys take a look at it. Floating ghost treasure! Yay! <gasps> that's not gross. <clears throat> Weird treasure. Yeah, the kids don't even go ew this time, which is good because obviously that isn't gross. I don't know. It's weird. Everything is, all the treasure in this game is gross except though that one. Just just a pair of glasses. Okay. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. I will take the treasure. Oh man, my favorite cutscene. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! <laughs> oh, where is he? I'm tired of being alone all the time. Prepare yourself, pudgy pink one, for you shall soon be part of my pirate crew. Part of a pirate crew? Oh, goody, goody, goody! I won't be alone anymore. Oh, poor Patrick. Uh, okay, now, I'm just going to hypnotize you so we can... What are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get going already. So, um, uh, just keep your eye on this daddy. <laughs> Listen, am I going to be part of your crew or not? Uh... <laughs> I love that so much. That's so funny. Patrick doesn't care at all. He's just like, yay, part crew, friends. Poor guy. He just wanted to be, be friends with me, but I blew him off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Patrick. Never again will I do such a horrible thing to you. Give me that health. Yay. Bam. Okay. So, it's at this point where you get the reef blower, right? So, you might be wondering... There's 5% of the balloons we still need to get here. Well, if you haven't figured it out yet, you can get those 5 doubloons. Well, maybe you're 5%. It might be only 4%, to be honest. Because, like I said, I've been, I'm missing a doubloon here, at least one. I don't know where it is. If you guys haven't left comments yet, I really need to know where that last doubloon is. Because I have no idea. I cannot find it for the life of me. So, now you might be wondering, what do we do? But if you remember, we got the, uh, the pass to, to Chum World. A few episodes ago in uh, Jellyfish Fields, but there's also Larry over here. It's, his... <gasps> it's a backwards nine on his Hi, Larry. stomach. Hi, this, <laughs> Everyone knows this is the bus to Goo Lagoon, the land of eternal sun and surf. I'm just waiting for my friend to show up so I can give him my extra bus ticket. I want to be a friend. An extra ticket. Can I borrow it for a while? I haven't been to Goo Lagoon in ages. Sorry, little dude. I only have one extra bus ticket. Please. Nope, no can do. But I just want to borrow it. Listen, nothing will convince me to give away this extra ticket. Well, maybe for 50 jellyfish, which I can use to make my favorite snack. Bring 50 jellyfish to Larry. Huh. So we still need um, much more. Many much mores. So now they have the reef blower. Let's use it for the only use it has here. Oh, oh no. 
I won't give, I won't give away this thing, you know, blah, 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 what's it? So people always tell me you can actually go to Gula Gula before Chum World, but I don't see how because you've 100 percent at everything. And I only have 27 extra jellyfish. And yeah, so it's hilarious to me how we're on part 12. And we only have two levels left. Or three, I guess, if you count Dutchman's Graveyard. But that's about the same size as Sandy's Tree Dome. Alright, so yeah. If you guys remember this area right here. Use the Reef Blower to spin the wheel. The narrator told us this thing looks terrifying when it spins. Ooh, spoopy! That, that's all it got. That's all it has for me. Alright, now the moment of truth. Will I have 100% doubloons? <gasps> I do! Huh, so I guess I don't need you guys to tell me where any secret doubloons are, because I got 100%. Weird, I wonder where I'm missing the, the last doubloon in my playthrough file. That's very strange. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Yay! And yeah, of course you can float with the reef floor as well. <laughs> Spongebob says, like, Hey, well, actually, that that time filled up pretty pretty properly then. So we're gonna go back to our jellyfish costume, our fishing gear. Actually, we're not gonna do that yet. We're actually gonna. Go, nope, I went to reef floor. I meant to go to mermaid man. Oh yeah, SpongeBob is so excited. He looks very angry actually. The Gulagoon bus stop. Let's go to. Chamberlain bus stop. Is this Chum World? Probably, right? Makes sense. It's right beside. To Chum World bus stop. Alright, everybody. In the next episode, go where no man has gone before. And yes, there is a reason why I'm in mermaid costume, by the way. We'll find out in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, the best way to support me is by leaving a like on the video and, su and subscribing to me if you haven't already. Uh, if there's any games you want to see me play, hold on a second. What about the face? No, don't jump on there, please. I almost walked onto that person. What about the face? No, hold on. Let's see if we get this right in the camera. What about the face? What about the face? <laughs> uh, if there's any games you want to see me play, check out the top link in my description. It leads to a video that lets you leave suggestions. And I'll play the more popular ones. Whee! Oh, Spongebob like, kind of properly crouches down in this costume. He's like, yeah, I'm ready! He's like a football player. Ooh, also, he just looks all squished and stuff. Next one, yeah, we'll visit Chum. Whoa, what the heck? What? What? Does it really not show the splash until I turn around and I can view it? Well, that time it didn't. That's weird. Huh? Very strange. Okay, anyways, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.